I am a snail, and God is salting me. I think about this post every time the lights at work are too bright and hurt my eyes. It's, it's fun, fun to say it though. Is it still Riz if they're Arrow Ace and you want to be friends with them so that you can study them under a microscope? Uh, asking because of a friend. I'm not quite sure on that one. Probably. Life is short. Double text all you want. I only double. <gasps> exactly. I am infinitely texting my crush. Oh god, no. Idea. A do not interact post, but it's just that one verse from Hardware Store by Weird Al. He they Delilah, what's it like in Pronoun City? Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to inquire about my missing salmon on the table. Uh, okay, bye. So, what's your favorite hydrocarbon? I feel like PM Seymour is boosting your popularity by giving you a voice. How do you feel? Do I really need to express any opinion here? I feel like I just got a new, very competent ghostwriter for my Tumblr blog. I guess what I didn't realize that this is a robot. The mac and cheese post changed my life. Shitting out mac and cheese in the microwaves. Some queenie for today. I've never seen a mouse that looks so much like a mouse before. She looks like she belongs on the cover of beloved illustrated children's book. Look at this baby. Andy, please just take one of the pictures. Give it a kid's book title. Look, that's beautiful. It's perfect. There are a lot of similarities between Shadow the Hedgehog and Meta Knight, but one key difference is that while Shadow has a dark backstory to brood about, Meta Knight is just like that. Yeah, Meta Knight could have just been raised in a suburban neighborhood with two parents, a golden retriever, and a white picket fence, and he still would have turned out like that. Kirby fans who know the lore, is this true or not? I had a dream there was a new move and it was a dab, but the arms go down instead of up and the hand by your head was a fist and it was called the crunch. Maddie, I'm sorry to hijack your post, but that's the team magma pose. Also extra fun fact, I'm pretty sure every single one of these guys has a mighty Yenna on their team and they all know crunch. Heck in my day, we didn't call it shit posting. We called it night blogging and blame the Australians. I've been on this godforsaken website for too long. I literally had the sensation of being slammed back in time just now. Nowadays, we just make bad content all day. Entities of assorted gender and species who may or may not identify as sentient. You have heard of hot spicy capsaicin and cold spicy menthol. Now it is time to complete the trifecta of spiciness. Just as our ancestors foretold of the elemental trifecta of fire, ice, and lightning, so too must we complete the spiciness trifecta. Behold, electric spiciness. That is the weirdest way to describe sour, but sure, I'll take it. If anyone tells you that you can't be badass and also girly, don't forget to tell them that one of the most beloved Norse goddesses, Freya, was the goddess of beauty, sexuality, and fertility, but she was also the goddess of sorcery, war, and death. Also, she did all this while riding a chariot pulled by cats. It's great. I love it. Why is this in black and white? Sorry, you will never convince me that FGO stands for anything else except Family Guy Online. Oh, Brian, this reminds me of the time that I was renowned anime character Gilgamesh. You gotta be as gay as possible on the computer. Otherwise, Alan Turing died for nothing. Obsessed with my partner's cishet friend because he is literally only friends with trans masks. Don't call yourself a cis ally unless 90% of your circle is trans. Fellas, you are never gonna believe what happened to her. <gasps> oh my god. I don't believe in astrology, but one time when I was in college, I was complaining about how dumb astrology was, and after a while, someone on the train went, SHUT THE HELL UP AND LET PEOPLE HAVE FUN, YOU CAPRICORN SUN VIRGO MOON BITCH! I was like, what the fuck? So I went home and looked it up, and they were right, so I... I, I, I don't say anything anymore. Imagine being the last owner of Hanako, the 226-year-old Japanese koi that was spawned in 1751 and died in 1977. A fish that outlived seven emperors. A fish that survived the Second World War, and she dies in your care. I would never recover. I'm gonna be honest. 
What's the literal point of being a spellcaster if you never get a bit where you're levitating and your eyes are glowing and wind from nowhere is whipping your hair and clothes about, mostly back in a suitably dramatic wavy, and there's a strange light about you and fire or lightning or just power crackling, growing in your hands, and you say something authoritative and righteous in a slightly echoing voice and then blast someone. This is glowing and being righteous before healing your main damage healer for a massive amount of HP erasure. This is the only criticism I will accept. Excuse me. Level 9, D20, Meteor Storm. You can have that scene. Just saying. What if you wish? <sighs> My grip on reality is so loose. I thought it was your mom. <laughs> no, I can't. No. Andy, just delete it. Just delete it. Get it out of here. <laughs>